Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education, more specifically Forex swing trading, using the TC2000 platform. Hello, this is the weekend review for the 21 Forex currencies on the 7th of August at 4 p.m. Central Time. And I'm going to go over the, the trades for the week. We have the Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. We had two trades, one off the bottom of the weekly low because both the high Kanashi and the RL10 was up. It was in the summer season. So we had nothing but longs. We had this order, the daily bracket order, and we went to the four hour to close out right before Friday's close. So that was a very good trade. Aussie dollar Swiss franc, no trade. There was no trades on the weekly high, weekly low, and direction was mixed. We had the high Kanashi down. We're in the RL10, and we're in the summer season. Aussie dollar Japanese yen, we were in this trade with the daily bracket in this location, and we went to the four hour as soon as it hit our second order, and we were stopped out here in this location. You go to the four hour here, here, and as soon as it hit here, I moved it to, I kept it here at the pump of the dragon. So it's always good to be more conservative with your stock on the four hour. Just go to lower time frame. How's it down in the dollar? Same thing. Breakout bracket trade here on the daily and up at our second order. Went to the four hour and stopped out at the hump of the dragon. How's the dollar? US dollar? Same thing. Had a low. Everything is up. Nothing but longs. Weekly low. We hit weekly low on a long. Hit our daily bracket high. It's another long. Another position. I should have had another position here at the swing high of the RL10 but I didn't do it. It would have been three orders and then four orders. Would have put our stop on the four hour as soon as it hit the weekly high here at this location. Perb trade, excellent gains uh, for the Aussie dollar, US dollar. Yen dollar Swiss franc, no trade. I can actually was down, RL10 was down, but we're in the spring season. Yen dollar Japanese yen, we were in this trade, hit the weekly high, continued to go up. As soon as it hit 200, I went to the four hour and was stopped out at four hour. Swiss franc, Japanese yen, no trade. Z3 was too high, worst rewards, not great. As you can see, even though everything is green, you could have done, uh, uh, for a small gain, done a uh, daily bracket trade for this but I'm so close to the Z3 I didn't want to risk it so and as you can see here it consolidated up with the Z3 your Aussie dollar same thing Z3 no trade and I didn't I didn't go ahead with this particular currency it was too close to the Z3 so I didn't have any orders in for the Z3 it was in the winter season I can actually was up so we had conflicting signals on the weekly euro Canadian dollar we we're in this trade what we have here is an emerging dragon went from fall back to summer I can actually is up everything is up we didn't see any follow through with this particular currency so um, we had a daily bracket it was in prop for one day came back stopped us out for small loss thing is is that this I'm going to keep my eye on this one uh, for next week especially for the long since the Z3 is up Euro Swiss franc did nice on this particular trade everything is up green we're in the summer Akinashi is up RL10 is up in a daily bracket trade went all the way up and came back and stopped out so um, we got a little bit more than break even plus dinner for two that's why as soon as that second order activate should go to a lower time frame to protect it as soon as, as soon as that to see whether or not momentum like it did here comes right back out to stop you out euro japanese yen nice trade bracket trade went in with a small loss as soon as it hit the second order came back stops out on the small loss in the second order nice gain on the first everything is up i can actually up we're in the summer euro new zealand dollar had a long trade nice gain again as soon as it hit the weekly high went through the stop up from here to the hump of the dragon and then as soon as it hit more indicators there I went to the four hour. As soon as it breaks up more indicators up here you go to the four hour protect profit as it came as, it, as you see it came right back down to stop us out. So we were right at the RL10. Euro US dollar had bracket trade, great trade, came up, went to the four hour as soon as it hit the high and then was stopped out. Nice trade. And then came back down stop us out. And as you can see here on the Euro USD it's in the volatile range starting to get toppy. What we'll see in the, as the weekly momentum trades get closer to the Z3 as it is in this case we, we could see some volatile action here at Z3. It wants to go higher but it can't because of limitations of its range and the Z3. It's hard to be stay above the third standard deviation from the main so we need to keep an eye on this in terms of potential top for the Euro USD. Zealand Canadian dollar went ahead and went short as soon as the, the high can actually turn red even though everything was green. The RL10 
Everything was down. Everything was uh, down up there to show conflicting there. So I changed these this long to a short and went ahead with the short here at, with this trade. So what you see here is a potential for a reversal here. This is what I was talking about. I met the 200 moving day average and started getting toppy here. With the Heikinashi, it gives you a clear indication that the direction of the momentum for this currency is starting to turn. And as you can see here on the regular price action, we had this red candle and this red candle in between. So right at the 200. So this is a good was a good place for a short. Went with a short on one order, two orders. Didn't hit our target. Moved the stop up to more than break even plus dinner for two. And came back and stopped us out. Zealand Swiss Frank, you can see here, we're in the summer. Arl tends down. Heikinashi's down. And then, you know, the short, as soon as it broke this particular price, we get to the RL10, and it was stopped out for small loss. Zealand Japanese Yen is in this trade. Had it at the belly of the dragon. Came back and stopped us out. This uh, is what I mean by top. As you can see here, the RL, once the RL10 starts to bend down and all that, be very conservative about your trades because we're, we're coming up on a swing high here on the weekly. Zealand US dollar. Everything, everything is up. Everything is green. One here is better long. As soon as, as soon as I saw the turn in the RL10, I moved it up and got up to the belly of the drag knight. So nice gain in the Zealand US dollar. But as you can see here, it's starting to get a little toppy. We got a swing high now on the weeklies. USD Canadian dollar. Great trade. Did a daily bracket here at this doji. Look at that. I mean, that is the most perfect doji that you can have. And then as soon as it came, hit the short order, then a couple of days, it shot down past one, two orders, went down to the, uh, kept going down on this order, placed it at the high of this candle, came back, stopped us out. Great trade. US dollar Swiss franc, uh, one of our best trades here. We got a collapsing dragon here, and that's so powerful about it. Collapsing dragon from spring to winter on the weekly, which means that this had a lot more juice to it to the downside. What came up, hit our weekly high, shot back down for a short order up here in this location, hit our daily bracket for a second order, hit the swing low of the RL10 for a third order, and a fourth order. As soon as it hit the fourth order, I moved it to break even on the third, came back, stopped the south. Excellent trade for US dollars Swiss franc. Right now it's in its volatile stage just like the others on the other side. When you get this indication, it could potentially be get a little uh, get towards the bottom here at this point. So we have to be careful when we're trading US dollar Swiss franc and look out for potential reversal. US dollar Japanese yen, same thing, collapsing dragon, went from winter to spring to winter. Excellent trade, but we got right here is what they call a hammer, right? A weekly hammer. This and followed by a harami. This means that we got a potential bottom here for the weekly. So we got to be very careful. It's also volatile at this point, which means that we could have a reversal here in the US dollar, Japanese yen. So we hit our high here, hit our short order here. I didn't have my stop here at 20. I had it at the, uh, the RL90 and then I moved it down. Um, if I would have had it at this indication, I would have been stopped out at that point. So I, I put it at the RL90. Um, usually I do one indicator, but since it was going down, I figured that the RL90 was a better position for it. Close the PSR. Came down and then was stopped out in this location. Good trade. Overall for the week, it was a good trade. Let's go to the Forex horsepower highlights or spotlights for silver. We say we were in this trade on Monday for a daily bracket. Do you need to go up, up, and up and closed out in this location on 28.163.7. So great trade. I'm sorry, 28, 28, 20, 90 for a great trade. And what we have here is a doji. So this is something that we need to respect in terms of the potential reversal on silver. As you can see here on the weeklies, it's way above its Z3. So we could see some pullback next week. <clears throat> for gold, US dollar, same thing. And as you can see here, the difference between gold and silver, uh, same bracket trade went in for a great uh, gain. I kept it at the RL30. But as you can see, it's already started getting top, right? Uh, it actually did its pullback at this point. So hit the Z3 on the weekly, on the gold, and on the Heikinashi on the regular, and came right back. So good to see some additional pullback next week. Well, folks, that's all I have for the week in review. The 21 Forex currencies. We're currently conducting a Forex boot camp and a Forex intermediate course. If you're interested, click on the link below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll be back on Sunday. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information on TC2000, I have an affiliate link below. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.